Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a video on when I thought 40k started to lose its uh, uniqueness. And for me, personally, it was in 6th edition when they introduced formations. Because as soon as they introduced formations, then everyone got buffs. There was no limitations. There was nothing like that. It was a, if you've got the models, you can feel this. It costs you nothing. And as a result, you'd get this big buff which makes okay it was 6th edition it, it it made some sense but at the same time it was just like why can't i just have a hq two troops three fast attack three elites three heavy support and yes you'd run that and not have any of these bonuses but it's just like why would why deliberately feed the the not the power gamers, but the, the, there's always people who will go for the most efficient and the most um, it could be seen as the cheesiest army out there, but because it's so efficient at what it does, it's also frequently used and these gamers started I think in 6th just to get individual attention more the tournaments then got their attention in even more still and yeah it's just been more tournament player focused and less casual player focused and that's why, all the way through 8, I've not played a single game. And because, now that they've, they, they've they designed 8th edition, in my eyes, around the Primaris. They were in the box set that was um, released as uh, the Dark Imperium. And that was all you got. You didn't get any uh, normal tactical marines. You didn't get anything, any scouts, any land speeders. You got all Primaris units and a captain in Gravis armor. You got Death Guard who were upscaled and new models, but they were, again, in their rules, they were beefed up to fit around the 8th edition rule set and now in 9th with these new models coming out I can see the uh, the Grav Stern Guard units coming back out off, off the shelves temporarily because with I mean in, in 6th that there were a range of things it wasn't just formations it was a range of things it was um, Grav that was a big one because suddenly you wound people on their armor save and you're AP2 and yeah you're a salvo weapon usually um, and then rather than just trying to nerf grav which would have made sense I mean you take the heresy era rules for grav guns and they're AP4. They're not AP2. And they cause difficult and dangerous terrain afterwards. So they are weaker in the sense that they're not guaranteed kills. But they're, they're, they're arguably deadlier because they've got a, an, an effect that which lasts until the next turn. Do you get what I mean? It's it's not like uh, 40k where I can fire my grav cannon at a trigon 
and destroy it in one in one round of shooting. I mean, we went from having grab on special weapons to the Centurions having a, a grab amp and a grab cannon, and then all the new units to try and counter them were brought in and rather than actually taking the unit down in power or upping the points cost to make it a less attractive option they focus on oh instead of bringing the points down and points up even we'll leave the points as they are and we'll sort out every we'll, we'll give the other races uh, new units and I think that is why we got Illic Nightspear because he's a sniper with a, a D weapon sniper I mean Eldar OP I get that but it was something like a 36 inch D weapon effectively on a Ballista Skill 5 model. So, it, yeah, the 40k in 6th started, started to lose me because I never, I never used formations. When I, when I played, I was always taking, I would take the occasional Forge World unit, but that would be it. It would be one unit and, or oh, maybe two units if I could if I had both of, both of the units but the vast majority of the army would be from Craft World Eldar Codex it would have all those rules, nothing extra, no formations and the number of times I went up against formations and I'm just and the formations then give you special rules and benefits that either interrupt the gameplay because it's on a six plus or on a five plus invulnerable save you now um reflect the shot back at your your enemy what since when do storm shields allow you to reflect shots back that makes no sense i think that was in the space wolf codex with the Arjat Rockfist and whichever um, whichever formation he was in. In yeah, call me old fashioned, but two HQ, six troops, three elite, three fast attack, three heavy support. That is a great way to work out your army. You know what you can bring, your, your points limit is what limits you, and it makes more sense to me and to your opponent that you both know what you're taking. I get that Harlequins can be different because they don't have a HQ. So, two elites, no, was it three elites in a mask? Um heavy support, two fast attack, three troops. That makes sense. That's a mass formation and it gives you benefits and it makes sense because Hardens don't have a HQ. But yeah, just from, from I joined the hobby mid fourth edition. And I've just seen it get worse, and I think it is formations and things like grab. There's, 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 there's a whole list of things, but I can't recall them all top of my head. And it's just units getting bigger and do more damage with l less points cost. Makes no sense. Anyway, that's my ramble for the day, so I will talk to you all later. Bye for now.